Hello my lovelies, thank you for joining us. I have Miss Lyra here and Big Ted and Little Ted and they'd like to share a message for the second part of May. So here's Miss Lyra having a snooze with Big Ted and Little Ted and a nice piece of rose quartz. So we have the cards and they've been shuffled so we cut them into three and we see what message we'd like to come through from the galactic mystic moggy. I hope you're all doing well. The energies are very, very weird. I can't sleep. <laughs> Madam can't sleep. Oh, look at that beautiful belly. Oh, wow, roly polies. Cool, your honour. Look at that. Isn't she just gorgeous? I was awake till four yesterday and this morning till two. So I'm feeling like an old slag bag. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Six, seven. It's amazing what a bit of makeup and a bit of bling will do for you. So last weekend we had six CMEs, coronal mass ejections, X class, and apparently in 2018 there were zero. So um, I know I felt it, and it's um, it's taking me all week to integrate it. So if you're feeling a little bit discombobulated as well, that may be the reason why feeling wired. Other people have just felt really worn out, um, unable to move. People around me, um, especially youngsters, having massive tantrums, really stomping of feet, screaming, oh, trying to get their way. So um, I feel it's uh, affecting the little ones as well. So let's have a look, see. Oh, okay, so we've got Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. So there is a bit of watery energy here, so Page of Cups and Queen of Cups. So emotions may be running quite high, which, as I said, they are whoops, around me. Just waiting for her to settle back down. There we are. Can I have that card, darling? Think bit of that. There we are. Um, but it's all a storm in a teacup. That's the phrase that I'm getting. A storm in a teacup. These expressions of um, anger and frustration need to come out. They need to be expressed, but in a safe um, the safest way possible, um, not to let it escalate into something more. So, Page of Cups can be to do with how we look after ourselves and our uh, emotional health, how um, sitting on bitterness or resentment or um, anger only... Um, makes us unwell if we hold that inside of us for too long these things do need to express to be expressed and especially if they are around um, young people knight of pentacles this is the taurus energy which we are in at the moment and it's a slow steady plod and this says to me not to react to um violently to whatever is being projected at you from others around you so other people's bitterness resentment anger can be them projecting their stuff onto you so the knight of pentacles says um don't take it personally just chill uh take your time don't necessarily respond just hold up a mirror 
to those who are um, having a hissy fit. The magician, this is Mercury energy. So that ability to um, communicate with others on a very subtle level, being able to react in a way that um, affords a healing of a situation, perhaps without the other person realising immediately. So the magic within us, the abilities that we have to turn situations around, not necessarily I've won, you've lost, but just to bring a harmony and a balance Whatever is projected onto us, there is a um, a facet of what is being shown that is um, a part of us that maybe needs healing. So then if we look to the card in the background, so in the past, Knight of Swords. This can be sharp words, things said uh, without thinking. It can be... Um, spats um uh, people being very picky and finding fault with others around them and again it's something that um might have come up for us to have a look at within ourselves what do we need to um soothe and uh, forgive ourselves for instead of projecting these things onto others so with the queen of cups this is into our immediate future i would say this is intuition your ability to just know you don't know how you know but you just know um yes it can be our emotions and how we can bottle them up but also this is going with the flow knowing that there's an awful lot of um high vibrational energy coming towards us from the sun from the cosmos from the galactic center which is stirring a lot of us up it's also activating the galactic codes within us so i've found a little way of dealing with that is when i'm in my bath in the morning i work with the water and thank it for all of the information all of the downloads all of the upgrades and the activation of the galactic codes and i also put crystals in my bath and thank them for taking away um, anything that I've been holding on to, old programs, old belief systems, um, anything that no longer serves me, and watching it wash down the drain at the end of my bath. We're coming into a very powerful time in this second half of May. So Nine of Pentacles is sovereignty. It's standing your ground standing in your own power that ability to say i can manifest absolutely anything and not have anybody tell you that you can't for some people they've never felt powerful so this is a a new feeling for an awful lot of us six of pentacles look to your skills and abilities and talents that you might have sat on for a while as there may be opportunities coming up to have a completely different income stream. And these talents and abilities may stem not just from this lifetime, but from others. So there may be opportunities coming our way once we let go of all the drama and the trauma and don't buy into the um, what is being fed to us and what is being projected onto us. So there you are, my lovelies. There's Miss Lyra's little message to us. And from the Teds. And we'll see you again soon. Lots of love. Bye for now.